Beats Bunny and today's video is going to be a type of video I have not done in a really long time and it is going to be a massive thrift hurl. I finally got the chance to go to the thrift store last week and pick up a lot of super awesome pieces. Thrifting is still probably my favorite way to shop. You can find so many amazing vintage pieces for literal dollars. My favorite thrift store to go to in the Houston area is the Family Thrift Outlet and they just have set price days. So on Thursdays everything in the store is two dollars. It used to be a dollar twenty-five I think when they first opened but over the past year or so they just keep kind of like jacking up the prices by a quarter but still $2 is not that expensive for, I found so many awesome things here. I found like brand new silk skirts with the tags on them. I found a really awesome coat that I am so excited to show you guys today. If you've never gone thrifting before, I believe that they're called charity shops in Europe, but if you have never gone to those stores before, you have just got to give it a try because you can find amazing, amazing things. I unfortunately don't get to go as much as I used to because you do have to spend quite a bit of time and at least the stores in Texas are usually massive. So when I go, I usually spend four to five hours at one shop alone. So it does take a lot more time and dedication like that than just regular shopping. But I don't know, it's good because it's like recycling and it's good because it's like, a good prize. I don't know, so many reasons why thrifting is good. Let's start out with one of my coolest finds this time, which is a vintage tote bag. And it looks like an old roll of Kodak film. I'm trying to kind of like get it to puff out so you guys can see it. Does film even really exist anymore? Everyone has switched to digital photography so like 35 millimeter film and stuff is just kind of like a thing of the past but this thing looks brand new inside and it's just so cute. It makes a great overnight bag like for small trips when Dogman and I go out of town. It's just like a round barrel bag. So cute. I love it. The next thing I got is this really awesome black purse and I have always wanted to take a purse like this that's kind of like a blank flat slate to a meet and greet and just have Swamp Family members like sign it and draw little things all over it. So honestly, I don't know when my next meet and greet is gonna be, but that is what I have planned for this bag. Once again, this is just in a really nice brand new condition. The only thing that's wrong is that it's missing the shoulder strap, but I can just take a black shoulder strap off of another purse that I have, clip it onto this one and bam, problem is solved. It's just really nice on the inside. It doesn't look stained or nasty or dirty or anything. It's got one small pocket area in the back and I feel like I'm looking at myself a lot while I'm filming this video, which I hope is not too annoying, but I'm trying to like see what I'm showing you guys, you know what I mean? The next thing that I got, I'm planning on doing a sort of DIY with not too much DIY going on. I found this really pretty white button down shirt. It's almost like a men's work shirt, but it's not because what the collar has is a really pretty little pearl accent. And I have a lot of like necktie things. They're not really scarves and they're not really ties, but they're like little and you can tie a knot and then it, you know what I mean? You guys will see it. If you follow me on Instagram, I know I'm gonna do an outfit of the day with this thing. I do not, however, want it to have sleeves. So I am going to chop off these little three quarter sleeves that it has, I'm pretty sure. I might end up cuffing them. I don't know, I'm kind of torn if I just wanna cut the sleeves off or leave them on. Either way, I am going to remove these little buttons. There are some beautiful crystal buttons on both sleeves. And then there is one right here up top. But I think I'm gonna take these off of this shirt and just 
use them on some other kind of project. I just thought it was so cute and it's kind of plain, but it has a nice little accent to it. The next thing I found, I know I will not use until roughly this time next year, but at the Renaissance Festival, I have always wanted to go to the Roman weekend. And I found this costume, which is clearly just like one of those cheapy bagged Halloween costumes. It has like little gold brocade at the top and it's kind of gathered in the front. I'll stand up so maybe you guys can see a little bit more detail. It's pretty plain. It's just like a regular kind of like woman's Roman gown and it has a little like gathered belted kind of section so it's a little bit more fitted and it also kind of makes the top like a little bit more blousey like that and then it just has a long plain white skirt but i figured for two bucks while i saw this costume sitting there i would go ahead and snag it because I know sooner or later I'm gonna go to the Roman weekend and it would be just kind of fun to have a special Roman kind of costume for that. In the next week or so, I also have a does this thing really work video coming up that I'm gonna need some t-shirts for. So I found this kind of like old, white stretched out v-neck shirt we're gonna be using that one and then i found a couple that have patterns on them and this one has like a jute box it says the bubble room and it's from captiva island i don't know where that is but we're gonna be using that one as well. And then I found this one. It is an old San Antonio, Texas t-shirt. You guys know that I love my vintage shirts. I'm kind of sad though, because my favorite kind of vintage t-shirt is the ones that have like holes all over them. But I think they're getting more strict about what they resell at my local thrift stores. I used to could sometimes find shirts with holes in them, but I think now any shirt that's torn up, they just throw throw it out because I haven't been able to find a t-shirt covered in holes at the thrift store in a really long time and it kind of makes me sad. I know that's a silly thing to say. Next, I got another shirt that I'm planning on doing a sort of DIY with, but I see these being sold now in a bunch of different stores for like $100 and I'm gonna make mine for $2. But it is a plain flannel shirt. It's kind of in this nice like warm brown and hunter green. But what people are doing is like basically rolling them up like you would to tie dye them and then splashing bleach on them or just kind of like dunking half of it in bleach so that it's got this really nice kind of faded worn vibe. Very excited about that. The next thing I got, I got for layering. I thought it was really too neat. It's actually maybe like one size too small for me. The shoulder area is kind of where it doesn't fit me the greatest, but I loved it so dang much, I just had to get it. This is actually from Madewell, which is a store at our like fancy mall. And I have shopped there before, so I know the items are not super cheap. So it was kind of cool and shocking to find this there. But it is once again, kind of like a regular white button down shirt with a collar. But the cool thing is, is that this has kind of like old world looking maps on it. I just loved the pattern so much. Let me show it to you guys on the back, but it's got like islands and I'm not exactly sure where all these places are. I'm kind of torn whether I want to leave this white like it is or if I want to try and tie dye it. Comment down below if you think I should leave this the way it is or if I should tie dye it because I am so torn with what to do. The next thing I found I had to get even though it is not my size, I am going to take it in and redo the elastic waistband. This is once again going to be a really cheap and quick DIY. Lots of stuff I find at the thrift store takes just a little bit of altering and even if you don't know how to sew yourself, you can send it to the alterer and still you're probably going to come out cheaper than if you just like bought it at like a 
big name store or something. I don't know. That's just my two cent little piece of advice. I found this plaid corduroy skirt that I love. It is so soft. It is so cute. It even has pockets. <gasps> well, this pocket feels like it has a hole in it. So I might have to stitch that up too. But it is a long floor length corduroy plaid skirt. If you guys have been here for any time at all, you know that I am mad about plaid. Anytime I see a plaid anything, I have to buy it. The elastic waistband on the back is going to be super quick and easy to take in. And I have a sewing machine and I'm just gonna do it myself. The next thing I got looks super 80s and I think I'm gonna try and tie dye it. It is kind of like an overcoat parka kind of jacket. It does kind of have like bigger padded shoulders. I'll just put it on really quick. So if anyone wants to laugh at me, you can laugh at me, but it is like a nice lightweight kind of jacket which is perfect for texas because literally it is like mid-december and it has been 80 to 83 here all week so it gets a little bit cooler at night but we still don't we don't need very heavy jackets here in texas at least in south texas i just thought this would kind of be neat to try and tie-dye it's got pockets i don't know why i liked this so much but I did. I, I don't know what it is. I also found this. Um, it's, it's a little bit oversized on me, but it is just a nice, plain black and white stripe, long sleeve shirt. I also love black and white stripes almost as much as I love plaid. So I saw this and I got it. I thought it would be good for layering. Camo is my favorite color. And I found this shirt, which is once again, another long sleeve button down shirt. I actually found this in the little kids section. So it's like a size 12 child's, but I tried it on and it fits me really nice. And normally when I find camo stuff, it's like really baggy or oversized a lot of times. Also, this is just so soft. Whoever had this, whatever child had this before I bought it must have worn it and washed it a lot because the fabric I wish you guys could touch it it's so soft and normally this kind of like um corduroy or canvas kind of duck cloth kind of fabric is normally like very coarse and stiff so this is a good find. Next, I got a super vintage piece. I don't exactly know when or for why I'm gonna wear this, but it reminded me of one of my favorite movies, Clockwork Orange, so I bought it. Also, don't watch Clockwork Orange if you're a minor. It is inappropriate for children. I just wanna put that out there. It is a knit, almost sweater, fabric skirt and it's got like paneling on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's all one color. It is a 100% wool skirt. So it definitely has some weight and some swing to it. I tried it on, it definitely fits. The only thing I'm concerned about is like stretching out this waistband from putting it on and taking it off. I mean, I don't feel like this is a piece I'm gonna wear like every day. So it probably won't be that big of a problem. I'm not exactly sure, like I said, what on earth I'm gonna wear this with right now, but I picked it up anyway because it's $2 and I just figured it would be fun to have in my closet and maybe someday for some reason, for some lookbook, I'll think of a reason to wear it. The next thing I found is another t-shirt and it is an Adidas t-shirt and the Adidas logo looks like a cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers is definitely one of my all time favorite foods and this made me giggle and it's gonna be pretty oversized on me. It's definitely like not exactly my size, but it's a t-shirt. T-shirts don't have to be fitted or look super stylish. Last but not least, definitely my highest value item of this haul, or kind of what I think is definitely like my coolest find from this trip is a full, I mean, this thing almost looks brand new condition wool pea coat and it is just a long 
coat. I'm not sure. It's like so long you guys can't even see it in frame. But this thing is just so beautiful and it literally looks like it's never been worn. It fits me really well. Normally when I find really nice pea coats like this, they're not my size. They're like a size too big or maybe two sizes too big. And I've bought them in the past, but this definitely is like just my size and I think it is an amazing find for two dollars and normally we start to get a little bit cooler weather here in Texas in like January and February so I will probably definitely be able to wear it then but I love it it's nice. I think it is a really awesome find. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!